Join the CinemaSins team in Nashville for Sin Week 2023. Every year, we release extra videos for our Sin Club members and hold live panels with our friends and fans in person. Tickets to Sin Week are available at a discounted rate for the month of December. Space is limited, so head to cinemasins.com slash sinweek to reserve your spot today. The link is in the description. Welcome to Sin Week! Woo! <laughs> DollarShaveClub.com and the party is on. Hi, I'm Mike. Mike. What is DollarShaveClub.com? Putting questions in my mouth. Sir, wouldn't it be safe to assume that my first question would be, what the hell is going on with that wall behind you? It looks like Saved by the Bell had a baby with the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which then vomited a bucket of stocking fillers over the wall. It looks like a Furby murdered a Cabbage Patch Kid with a pet rock and smeared its entrails across the shelves. It looks like... Look, you seem like a lovely millennial sort, but if you think appealing to shit I'm too old to have grown up with is going to make me buy your razor, then you are dead right. Because that shit is a dollar a month and I am no fool. But I am not happy about it. Also, f loose ties. You're not running for governor, so stop trying to look like a f***ing man of the people and bottom line this sh so I can move on to the YouTube video that your unskippable ad is currently preventing me from watching. Our blades are f***ing great. Bleeping swears. Also, thank goodness for the strategically placed asterisks in the word f***ing here because I'm sure there's no f***ing way impressionable kids or aggressive adjective averse adults would ever be able to figure out what this word was were it not for this clever disguise. Each razor has stainless steel blades and aloe vera lubricating strip and a pivot head. Yeah, well, so does my d Okay, that's not entirely true. It does have a pivot head, but the lubricating strip is well past its prime. And the stainless, regardless, what I'm saying is that this blade has more features than it needs and I guarantee you it'll still hurt like hell when I drag it across my stubbly visage. It's so gentle a toddler could use it. I know this is some clever marketing metaphor to gain my trust, but I feel like it might be overestimating the strength of the average consumer's don't try this shit at home reflex. If you say it on the internet, you better be damn well prepared to wake up with a pile of lawsuits claiming your commercial is why the family pet is irretrievably bald or irreversibly dead. And do you like spending $20 a month on brand name razors? 19 go to Roger Federer. Lying. Also, come on, look at him. He could market a monthly subscription of sweatbands made out of his used jock straps, and I, I'm, I mean someone, would pay all the dollars a month for that sh And do you think your razor needs a vibrating handle, a flashlight, a back scratcher, and ten blades? Straw man arguments. Which, I know, might seem rich coming from me, but I'm not trying to sell you anything. Other than the truth, people! Also, I would strongly suggest getting the f*** off that moving forklift unless you want your last Google search to be how to safely remove leg and genitals from hydraulic lift. Your handsome ass grandfather had one blade and polio. Assuming my grandfather is someone I aspire to be like and not an absolute bastard. Now, I'm not saying my grandfather was a bastard. In fact, he was lovely. I'm just saying Mike here could potentially be talking to the grandchild of a bastard. Either way, it's very presumptuous to assume your target audience would, by default, want to emulate their grandparents, be they bastards or not. Stop paying for shave tech you don't need. Listen here, you follicularly fickle f***o. You literally opened this pitch by listing all the extra features your razor has and now you're using its lack of features as a f***ing selling point? Well, congratulations on apparently finding the long-sought-after Goldilocks zone of razor blade technology. Who knew the elusive sweet spot was somewhere between advanced enough to not give you tech in a homemade autoplasty and not so advanced that you feel like the research could have been better used finding a cure for cancer or warp travel. And stop forgetting to buy your blades every month. Assuming I'm forgetful. I have my sh perfectly in line, sir. And while I can see why you might think it's a safe bet, I'd prefer it if you didn't base your pitch on my incompetence. And don't assume I'm forgetful. I have my sh perfectly in line, sir. That's it. I'm starting up my own shaving subscription service. I'll call it the 80 Cent Shave Club because I'm sure I can save 20% on my overheads purely by not keeping and maintaining a f***ing bear in my warehouse. We're not just selling razors. We're also making new jobs. While discount every apprentice contestant ever here tries to convince us that his plucky startup is the best thing to happen to America since Roosevelt's New Deal, I'd like to take a second to ask why I should be taking shaving advice from someone who clearly doesn't need to shave. Wait, are these razors so good that they actually make you look like you've never needed to shave? F**k, I want to look 22 again. Sign me up. Sh**, I'm supposed to be sending this. Well, here's a subscription for one cent per month for the next hundred years. That'll teach you. Stupid commercials making me buy things I need. So stop forgetting to buy your blades every month and start deciding where you're going to stack all those dollar bills I'm saving you. I mean, I'll... 
I'll keep it in a bank, right? And the party is on. I haven't seen a party I've wanted to be less a part of since Chad from my high school football team messaged me on f***ing Facebook inviting me to a school reunion. No, Chad, I do not want to reminisce over the good old days when you launched a lacrosse ball so hard into my nuts that it replaced one of them for a whole week. You didn't even play lacrosse, and we weren't even on the f***ing field, Chad. It was in the middle of a f***ing chemistry exam. To this day, I don't know how he got the angle so per- Look, I'm not subscribing to your f***ing discount Gillette Blades just because you've got a leaf blower, a bear, and some royalty-free music. This pithy tagline is trying to make its point by A. Leaning on some confusing yet lazy wordplay B. Taking advantage of a speech impediment C. Doing a Sean Connery impression Or D. I don't f***ing care, why is this commercial 90 f***ing seconds long? Also, commercial misses the opportunity to have this pitched to me by Sean Connery. It is a beard, Jordy. A fine, full, dignified beard. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos and easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed Void in Tennessee. <laughs>